I have a confession to make. I've actually lied to you. Uh, maybe not so much a lie. It's not a lie, if you believe it. But I promised that I would be doing this vlog all the way through Croatia as I'm running my tour, but I just haven't been able to do it. I've just overcommitted. It's just so much work. I'm running the tour, I'm spending some time with my daughter, just so many other things to do. It's really, really tricky for me to do it. So, what I might do is at the end of the trip, I might put together a little montage. I have done, however, a little, little movie or um, video showing you a little bit of Zagreb, which was at the start of the tour. So let's go back in time to Zagreb. Or 29. So here I am in the Esplanade Hotel. I love this hotel. It was one of the original stops of the Orient Express. Anyone that's anyone has stayed here. Anthony Quinn, Orson Welles, Woody Allen, Jane Seymour, Prince Charles. It goes on and on and on. Um, and then of course there's my group and myself. Just to continue that tradition. I always feel like King Julian out of Madagascar when I stay here. Bring me my nuts on a silver platter. I'll take you down for breakfast in a minute and show you where we have breakfast. And uh, yeah, it's just, just pure luxury. Love it. We'll pop out, catch a tram. I'll take you to a couple of galleries. If I get a chance, I'll do a, a little watercolour sketch and uh, just give you a little, little view of Zagreb. Let's go. Above me, you'll see all these clocks. And just above me right there, there's one that tells me what time it is in Sydney. I don't know why they haven't got Yak and Dander. I think it should be Yak and Dander rather than Sydney. Maybe I'll change it. But I'm just about to go off for breakfast. Do you want to come? Come on. Pretty crowded. <laughs> A crowded tram there. Just walking in Zagreb on the way to take you to the funicular. It's the shortest funicular in the world according to the Guinness Book of Records. And we're going to go for a ride on it. It's pretty fast. Exciting stuff. Basically what happens here is behind me up, on this, up in that tower there, there's a cannon. And every midday, they shoot that cannon and the whole town kind of sets their watch according to this cannon. And it's pretty loud and I'm actually really, really nervous about when it's going to go off because I just feel like I'm going to jump. And it scares the hell out of me every single time I hear it, even though I've heard it so many times. In fact, I feel like blocking my ears. There's people around me and oh, I think it's the anticipation that makes me nervous. <laughs> yep, <laughs> did it again. <laughs> and that frightens me every single time. Now you can hear the bells ringing. So everybody's now sitting there watching 12 o'clock. I tell you what. Like I haven't got a pacemaker. All right, let's get out of here. Here we are at what I think is the best museum in Zagreb. It's called the Museum of Broken Relationships. It's really interesting, it's quite unique. If you're ever here, check it out. Or better still come with me and I'll show you. So let's go in and have a look. Really interesting concept. There's such a mix of things in this museum. It'll make you laugh, it'll make you cry. Very eclectic. Let me just show you one. It says 
A Florida lake where I skipped school with my boyfriend. The arrow indicates the spot where I first saw a penis in the sunshine. Quite funny, I thought. Now I'm going to take you to the Museum of Naive Art. I'm just going to take you inside to show you my favourite picture of all. It's a beauty. <laughs> it's called Goitori Yana. Check it out. I like the cat too. And this one's quite good too. It's called Cross-Eyed Steve, my neighbour. Have a look, see if you can work out why it's called that. There's something about all this work I really like. The simplicity of it, the naivety of it, I guess. But the fact that it really depicts their life. Yeah, I like it. I've also got a bit of a problem. I've got a dilemma, uh, artistic crisis if you like. Problem is that, not that I'm not inspired to paint in Croatia, I've done plenty of paintings, but I'm just trying to think of another way to do it rather than the standard street scenes, the same old pictures I see everyone doing. I see them on Instagram, not just of Croatia, but everywhere. As you can see from the video that I just showed you, the demo I did in, Zagreb, just a sketch, but you know, there's, there's nothing unique about it. It's the same old thing. I've got to come up with a more creative way, the way of seeing it, the way of designing it, something. I don't know. I've got to, I've got to sit down and do some deep thinking about this. Do you call it artistic block? I don't know. I'm sure you've been here before, but it just basically means that, I, and because of time, I'm not going to be doing paintings as such here so you won't be seeing any more paintings I may be concentrating on photography for paintings it's just the fact that it's just the fact that um, I've got to try and get into the zone become a bit more creative and, and see what evolves maybe nothing will I'm going to check out this town of Split and I've, I've you've just got to point out these Roman centurions on the right hand side, check them out. And I'm just going to use that line out of Monty Python. What have the Romans ever done for us? This is it. It's amazing. All right, so let's check out Split and I'll catch you later. Before you go, let me show you the really cool entrance to our hotel. There's plenty of other things I could show you in Split. That'll be in the final video possibly, but but let me just show you this bit. This is the third century wall of the Diocletian Palace, an amazing place in Split. But I love the sneaky little entrance to our hotel. Let me show you, come here. Hey. Hello. Done. If you enjoyed this, please remember to subscribe. Um, let me know in the comments if you've been to Split. Anyway, I'm going to, wait for it, Split.